Good morning, everybody. It's chilly out there, and not necessarily because of the temperature. It's the wind chill that takes us down into the single digits. So that's how you want to dress. Dress for the wind chill for the remainder of today. Look at the cloud cover in Stanton, Ravana, also Battle Creek and Muskegon. That's lake effect generated cloud cover. And there are a few flurries out there and some snow showers uh, and breezy conditions, of course, driving those wind chills down into the single digits. The good news is some sunshine will return tomorrow. It's still going to be on the chilly side. And then we may see some accumulating snow, maybe a half inch to an inch on Sunday, and then maybe a little bit more than that for our southern counties as we get into Monday. I'll show you what I'm talking about here momentarily. Here it is. We've got a northwest flow, and you can see the way these bands of lake effect snow have set up. We're not seeing anything really measurable in most spots. I think maybe a dusting to a coating up to a half an inch in some of these areas, but we'll be in and out of the snow showers as we continue throughout the day. And as I'll put this into motion, you can see lots of cloud cover out there and these lake effect snow showers just pouring off of Lake Michigan. There's a couple of mitigating factors of why we won't see heavy lake effect. One of the reasons is we have a fairly dry air mass out there. And of course, we have a temperature inversion where the temperature actually warms as you go up into the atmosphere. That's sitting around 5,000 feet. If you want on heavy lake effect snow, you either need no temperature inversion or the temperature inversion has to be much higher. And that's not the case this time around. So don't look for a lot of lake effect snow. Here's the feels like temperatures, the wind chill factors in the single digits and teens. I can remember over the last couple of days talking about this saying single digits. Make sure you dress for this kind of weather because that's what's going to be with us the rest of today. Current temperatures are in the teens up here in Fremont and Big Rapids. 20s elsewhere. We're probably going to stay in the low 20s. We may even drop off a couple of degrees as we head through the afternoon hours. Look at all the cold air out here to Wisconsin. That cold air continues to funnel in on a northwest wind, but with the cloud cover and the air masses modified across Lake Michigan, uh, we don't get quite that cold, but it is still chilly out there and those wind chill factors don't help. Off to the north and west, there's not much going on and we will see some sunshine, I think, as we get into tomorrow, but not so much today. We're talking cloudy skies, breezy conditions, colder temperatures, snow showers, flakes and flurries, temperatures around 21 degrees. Frankly, we officially hit our high at midnight in Grand Rapids. It was 35, but we're going nowhere but down from here with that northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we look at the forecast model, well, that cold air continues to seep in and you can see the lake effect snow showers. I think we'll cut some of that down as we get into the evening hours and then we'll go partly cloudy tonight. Temperatures will fall into the teens. We'll start Saturday with some sunshine. The clouds will thicken up and late Saturday down into Sunday, a swath of some snow coming in, probably about a half inch to an inch will be possible as we get into Sunday morning. And then that high pressure area that's behind this system may help to keep the next system maybe suppressed a little bit and keep it down to the south. I'll show you what I, what I mean here in just a minute. So some snow showers today, breezy, colder, 27 degrees with some sunshine on Saturday, 30 on Sunday, and then maybe some accumulating snow as we get into Monday, but quiet conditions for Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's one of our forecast models. This is the GFS model. And this is only for Monday, Monday night and Tuesday, painting a swath of a couple of inches along and south of I-94. Here's another forecast model that's doing the same thing through the same time frame, except giving us a little bit more because of that northerly track to the system. So if you're along the Michigan Indiana state line, you might see five or six inches up along the I-94 corridor, maybe three or four up to uh, Grand Rapids and Ionia. Not much. It really depends on the track of that system. And that's what we're going to be watching as we over the next couple of days. We'll have a better idea tomorrow, but that would be for Monday night into early Tuesday morning. Alyssa?